Hello, Mothers. I'm Eric Inga, the CEO of Stone Temple Consulting. I'm also co-author of The Art of SEO, along with Rand Fishkin, Stefan Spencer, and Jesse Stricciola. And I'm here with a whiteboard plus today to talk to you about Google Plus and SEO. Like many of us, you may have wondered whether or not Google Plus uh, uh, has SEO impact. Does it have any influence on SEO? Well, at Stone Temple Consulting, we set out to uh, figure out and actually perform a test to see if that was the case. So I'm going to tell you about my methodology, uh, and then I'm going to tell you what we found. So first of all, we found five sites that were willing to participate with us in this study. We created two different pages for each website, right? Uh, and they, these pages, we put them up. They were orphan pages. They had no Google Analytics tag on it. We didn't access it with Chrome. We didn't access it with anything that had a Google toolbar on it. Uh, we uh, actually used a naked Safari browser. Um, no links to these pages. Uh, no other social activity, no Facebook, no Twitter, nothing. So the, the only signal that could possibly have been used to discover the pages was Google+. Um, and then we started generating plus ones. On each of the sites, we took one of the pages we did only a single plus one, and then the other ones we did a larger number uh, of plus ones, but still relatively small. The reason why this is important is that if you get a lot of people doing plus ones, then the chances that somebody will do some extra stuff and violate one of these no principles here uh, and corrupt the study is strong. So right now we were just trying to find out if there was any impact at all. So we wanted to do this in a way where we kept it pure. Part of what we also did is we then reviewed the log files from the sites to make sure there was no unintended accesses that occurred. And that helped us check it from a, a one uh, uh, way. And then we also reviewed link data, uh, certainly from uh, Open Site Explorer and Webmaster Tools and Majestic SEO and other tools like that, just to make sure that these pages weren't getting any links we didn't know about. So the whole goal was to keep these pages as pure as the driven snow so we could trust our conclusions. So, what did we find? Well, here's what we found. Um, we found actually that pages tended to get indexed in about four to five days. Not for every page we tested, but for many of them, they get indexed in about four to five days. We found uh, that they would rank for long tail search queries, uh, ranging you know, generally four and five word queries, sometimes three word queries that weren't really particularly popular. So, um, uh, and then we found, so the, the conclusion here is that it's a powerful indexation agent. Uh, as I uh, uh, like to say, it seems to me like it indexes like a bunny rabbit, if you understand my uh, metaphor here. We usually think about bunny rabbits being prolific at other things, but work with me here, this is what I mean. It's just really uh, likely to help you with indexation. Actually, in some cases, there's kind of some evidence here that it may even help indexation faster than getting some links, which is really interesting stuff. The ranking impact is not clear. Even though we saw that it was ranking for these long tail search terms, it could just have been that Google became aware of the page uh, and uh, the domain authority of the site was what caused the ranking impact. So this particular study that we did doesn't really show that. Uh, Search Metrics has their own study where they believe they have shown that sort of ranking impact and, and we're going to be digging into that with them just to understand more uh, what their findings have been. But if you think about this, I want to talk about what to conclude from this and how you might use it. Uh, I think it's certainly a great idea uh, for selected great content pages to have social campaigns that promote it. I probably wouldn't do it just simply to help it with this indexation stuff. It's, to me, the realization is that social media can be and should be a powerful complement to a broader content marketing strategy. So you produce great content, you know, it's really good to have strong social media sites where you can promote it. It's good to go do uh, high quality link building uh, where you help promote it. And of course, if you get a really good social media presence, just promoting on social media will bring some really good, organic, high quality links to your content. Um, because the social media signals by themselves, uh, the Google Plus signals don't appear to be so strong that that's enough uh, to be your entire marketing strategy. 
And nor should, you know, uh, intuitively that makes sense, right? That you would need to do more than that. So um, combine it as part of a holistic, broader content marketing strategy. Very strong compliment. Good stuff for you to do. Uh, I hope it works out well for you. Thank you very much.